We welcome you to this broadcast of boys varsity basketball on NK Toco Sports. We're at Fort Lauderdale High School for the Martin Luther King Classic, where the Springfield Shawnee Braves will take on the Marion Local Flyers. Tonight's game brought to you by the following sponsors, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Grand Lake Health Systems, Lincoln Electric Automation, Pratt Industries, Wagner's IGA, Winner's Quality Meats, Welcome back here. We're at another game here at the Martin Luther King Class. We're going with AJ Lucy. I'm Dave Kanapke. Game five here against Shawnee, against Marion Local Flyers. Shawnee seven and five overall. Marion Local nine and one. We're getting ready for our starting lineup sponsored by Emerson Climate Technologies. What's going on? Just finished the game where Fort Laramie defeated Yellow Springs. So that's the sponsors. It's a big guy for uh, Shawnee today, Zion Crow. Zion Crow. Over 20 points a game being recruited by a lot of Division II, close to 22 points a game. And for Marion Loki, got the, they got a lot of height, yeah. big guy underneath. Big guy underneath the big kid. But I'll tell you, the one kid you want to look at is uh, Austin Neekamp. He's going to be a key going in as far as replacing Mesher. Now our... Emerson Climate Technology starting lineups. First, we'll start with the Shawnee Braves with the visiting. Zion Crow, we just talked about him, 21 points a game. And Desmond Hausman, 6'1", junior, two points a game. Cody Seaman, 6'3", junior. 12, Ricky Powell. 32 is Darian Dixon. The head coach is Chris McGuire. Very successful, 18 years at Shawnee. 250 wins at the school. Wow. Seven and five overall, three and two in the Central Buckeye Conference. Now for the Marion Local Flyers to be the home team. Nine and one on the season, three and zero in the MAC. Luke Pullman, a six-three senior, a big 15-point game on Friday. Tate Hess, leader guard, seven a game. Brandon Ike, a 6'1 senior. 23, there's that 6A sophomore AJ was talking about, averages nine. And the big guy, Jack Kanapke, 15 points, eight rebounds. Head coach for the Flyers, Kurt Guttemiller in his 12th year with a lot of success. AJ, while we get him in, let's do our keys to the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Let's first start with the Shawnee Braves. Well, for the Shawnee Braves, they got to take care of the ball. they got to move the ball against this big Marion local lineup. Defensive positioning, I mean, that's going to be a key. They need to help out on Kanapke. you got to locate Austin Niekamp. And rebounding, I mean... They're not, they're not as big as Mary Local, so the rebound is going to be a key. Again, uh, for the Flyers, the keys. Hey, eliminate easy baskets. I mean, you, you're going to find Zion Crow get to the hoop a lot. Take care of the ball, eliminate turnovers, and then play inside out. Those are your keys. The game brought to you by Key Whole Pizza, and we are underway, though. Nine and one Flyers. They're down one player, Jaden Mesher, had a broken nose last week against Van Wert, so he's not. He's their second leading scorer at 12 points. Luke Pullman, one of the starters. There's Tate Hess. So we're around the Brandon Ike. Flyers, a very tall and talented team. They were district champs last year, so this isn't totally unexpected. No, AJ. it isn't. And the one thing is, Kirk, Coach Kirk Gottemiller has got them going again, and they're very... Come, trying to still get their basketball legs. Good entry pass underneath, and Kanapke finishes for the first basket. I mean, with the late start with football, they're still trying to get those basketball legs under them. This is the first week they had a full week of practice. They played nine, their first nine games in 22 days. Yeah. There's Zion Crow, 22 points a game. Gives it up to Darian Dixon. Seven and five. On the season, three and two in the Kenton Trail Division of the Central Buckeye Conference. There's Crow. There's a three ball by Big Ricky one. Powell, and he drains it. Powell. Good movement by Shawnee, and that's that's the one thing Coach wanted to look at in this game is just the ball movement. 
Brandon Ike. That's almost stolen there by Shawnee. Ike gives it over to three ball there by Niekamp. Rebound to Shawnee. That's Cody Simon with the basketball. Dixon to the hoop. Off the glass and in. Nice move by Daring Dixon. Yeah, that's just, once again, attacking that middle. And once again, Shawnee getting a good shot. Shawnee in Division II team. Of course, the Flyers a Division IV team. Holman coming off a big game on Friday night against New Bremen. He had 15 points as the first game starting. There's Eink. And Eink is tripped up. It'll be the first foul of the game. And Marion played New Bremen on Friday night. Big 10-point win as they stay undefeated. Yeah, that's, that's a huge win because New Bremen was favored to win the league from what I was told. Yeah. Marion's 3-0. Coldwater is 4-0. Pullman, corner three. Rebound Braves. Simon will give it up. Dixon will try a three. That is short. Ball bounces around amongst a few people and goes off a knee of the Flyers. Yeah, that's just got to grab that ball. Got to grab that ball. Crow average is 22. Seaman at seven. Dixon at eight. Those are your main. That's a turnover. There's a turnover right there. For the Flyers, Jack Kanapke, the leading scorer at 15 a game. And then you have Jade Mesher at 12, but like I said, he's not here. Austin Niekamp at nine, Tate Hess at seven. So a lot of weapons, tall and talented Flyer team. They lob it underneath the Kanapke. He kicks it out. Pullman will try another three. That's well short. Rebound of the Braves. Bro. Guarded by Hess, is a pretty good defender for the Flyers. Word around back to Crow. Nice quick move oh, at the nice elbow. Move. Pretty good crossover there. Yeah. That's just nice move, and I'll, I'll tell you what, Shawnee's come out shooting right now. They lead seven to two on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Ike trying to find an opening, gives it up to Camp. He'll lob it down to the big guy, oh. Kanapke. Contact, no foul, and misses on the first one. Ike comes up with the rebound. The worker to Pullman. Kanapke posting up again. He's against Dixon. They sag down on him into the corner. Dixon trying to defend Kanapke. They lob it down to Kanapke. Try to take another charge. The, on the rebound, yeah. Kanapke's fouled. Yeah, it's the one thing with Kanapke, he's such a big presence underneath that it, it's tough to guard him. And uh, so far, the big guy for uh, Shawnee has done a good job. Kanapke on the season from the free throw line, 56%. First team all MAC last year. In the game will be Mitchell Ranley. Junior had eight points against New Bremen on Friday night. Second one by Kanapke. It's it. Yeah, Branley's a nice player. But, I mean, it's tough to replace a guy like Mesher who pretty much could shoot the ball from anywhere. But Branley stepped up pretty nicely on Friday night. Braves, both these teams average about right at 51 52 a game. They're back on the attack. Dixon. Trying to drive down low, draws the foul on Kanapke. So Dixon, pretty mobile big guy. Yeah. And that's 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 gonna be a tough matchup for Kanapke because he is very flat-footed, and you can see here on the replay. In and out there by Dixon. Dixon, eight points, five rebounds on the season for the 6'2 junior. Four juniors in the starting lineup. Crow is the only senior as Dixon hits one of two. Lead back to five. Pass across the timeline. Ike on the wing. Very good defense being played by the Braves. Pass trying to drive. Can't go any farther. Over to Ramley. So I have to reset it here. They'll go down, down low to Kanapke, banks it home. Nice find. That was a nice find underneath, and Kanapke put it right in. 
Draws the lead to eight to five on our first National Bank scoreboard. Crow to Dixon. Thought about a three. Picks up his dribble. There's Crow, he's yet to score. He's only shot once so far. Yeah, uh, Tate Hess has a, has a great job defending. He's one of their better defenders on this team. Good defender, of course, quarterback on the state championship football team. There's Crow against Hess, trying to back him down. Yep. Able to get him in the air and draw the foul. First foul on Hess is Zion Crow will go to the line to shoot a pair. And this is that one. He's a 71% foul shooter. Luke Pullman back in for Eink. Also, Kyle Unger and a sophomore will give Kanapke a break. Second one by Crow. In and out, so he misses a pair. Hess will take it across the timeline. Two and a half to go here in the first quarter, along with A.J. Lee, Dave Kanapke. Glad you're joining us on NK Telco Sports. The Flyers back on the yeah. attack. Haven't have had to work on their half-court possession yeah. so far. Very good defense by the Braves. Ungren gives it to Niekamp. He drives in. Three ball by Ranley. Long rebound. Ranley's able to chase it down. That's a nice offensive rebound by Mary Local. Drive to the hoop, and he is fouled. And Tate Hess will now go to the line to shoot two. Hess averages right at seven points a game. 75% foul shooters. Kanapke back in the game. First substitution for Shawnee Ed Bamer into the game, a 5'11 junior. Only one senior on this team. This is a foul shot. Not able to get the second shot. And out of bounds will stay with the Flyers. Wow. I mean, that, that happened pretty quick. Pass will inbound it to Kanapke. Another chance for the Flyers. Pass trying to drive. Randley let the oh. three go. Looked good, but hits the rim. Rebound by Seaman over to Crow. S stops Crow. There's Bamer with the basketball. All the way into the corner. Crow will do a three in and out. Rebound Pullman. All the pass all the way at Kanapke. Nice, nice catch. Oh. Too strong off the board. Wow. Big opportunity for that there. Panth Braves go up, shot missed there by Bamer. They go to Dixon. Dixon finds an opening over to Crow. Three ball. Niekamp with the rebound goes out of bounds. He throws it off of Dixon. It'll be flyer ball. Man. Kind of a wild sequence. Yeah. A lot going on, that's for sure. Oh. Flyers coach Kurt Guttermiller, 12th year. If he wins today, right now he's currently tied with Keith Westrick overall. Oh, wow. That's He'll be at 195. He's at 199. If he can break that, he'll be in second place behind the legendary Jack Albers. Jack Albers. 290 wins. Wow. Great winning percentage. Three ball, Pullman. Too strong. Kanapke battling for it. Brave Crow comes up with it. Up ahead to Simon. Kicks it into the corner. It's Bamer. Three. Another chance for the Braves coming up on 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Man, I'll tell you what, the big key here is the rebounding. And right now, Shawnee's out rebounding, especially on the offensive glass, and they're limiting Fort Mary Local to one shot. Looks like Shawnee with a three point lead, looking for the last shot. Crow guard, being guarded by Ranley right now. Probably start moving a little bit under 10. There he goes, and he'll draw the foul on Ranley. So Crow will go the line. No, that'll be a common foul out of bounds with just under 10 seconds to go. Brandon Eink will check back in the lineup. 
Say Mercer will inbound it to Crow. Crow down to six seconds, trying to find an opening. Kicks it in the corner. Seaman shot is misses. And that will end our first quarter of play. On our first National Bank scoreboard, Shawnee eight, Flyers five. We'll be back with the second quarter here on NK Toko Sports. because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. One quarter of basketball here in the books. Marion Local and Shawnee, and it's been a defensive struggle so far, AJ. Yeah, it's, it's uh, both teams not shooting the ball very well, but I'll tell you, they've had opportunities on the offensive glass and everything, but I mean, one turnover that whole that whole quarter. So I mean, these guys, these both these teams have come to play. Dixon will drive to the basket. Ball goes out off the Flyers to be a, another chance for the Braves. Braves with three plays to play. I've scored Dixon with three, Powell with three, Crow with a deuce. Well, that will be a I mean, mix-up on the inbound play. It'll be Flyer ball. Man. Like I said, second, only second turnover of the game. Flyers on offense, they've really had a hard time getting much, much going other than when they got it to the big guy, Kanapke. Yeah. That's always option one for the Flyers. Tried by Ike, has to pick up his dribble. Been impressed by the Shawnee defense. Yeah. They're their perennial powerhouse in the Central Buckeye Conference year in, year out, Chris McGuire. Has them playing good ball, seven and five this year. Maybe not one of their better teams, but right. they look pretty good so far. Into the corner, Pullman thought about a three. So patiently work through the offense. Yes, don't think he's shot yet, and he slips, uh, and that'll be a travel. A travel. But it just shows you how big Master being out yeah. hurts this team. I mean. He's pretty much their their spark plug. Yeah, he can shoot it from like yeah. anywhere. 12 points a game and senior as well. Pullman almost came up with a steal. So we're going to round back to Crow. He's option one as well. Good defense by Hess. So worker over to Mercer. Crossover just inside the arc and he hits it. Zane Mercer with a pair and there's a steal by Dixon, Darian Dixon, 6'2", junior, impressive post drive as well. Crow 6'4", but definitely the ball handler on this team. Cody Seaman trying to drive. Drive the basket, he runs out of real estate. There's a three this time by Mercer. Crow skies for the rebound, tries to save it, yeah. able to get it to a teammate. Drive to the basket, nice reverse. Layup there by Cody Seaman. Offensive glass right now, big key for Shawnee. Shawnee up by, tw by seven, 12 to five in our first National Bank scoreboard. So far, Jack Knappy all, with all five points so far. So they've struggled to hit the outside. Hess will give it a try, and no. it's the back iron. Had a good look. Yeah, he did. They've had some good looks, just haven't been able to hit the outside shot. As Crow will set up the offense to Seaman. 5.20 to go, second quarter. Game five here at the Martin Luther Classic. They lob it down underneath to Crow. I think she was intimidated by Kanapke, goes out of bounds to be flyer ball. 
In the game will be Ricky Powell. It says game five so far. We had Liberty Benton knock off Anna. It was a good first yeah, game. Good first game. Rushi continues a very fine yeah. season against Willard. Really impressed. St. Mary's in Lexington. That was a close nip and tuck yeah. there. Nip and tuck. I mean, it was the game we thought it would be. And then the last game, Fort Lauderdale won easily by 16 over Yellow Springs as the Flyers turn it over. Now nah, they just they, they're not in a rhythm. And, that, and the one thing that it's, it's happening is Dixon's done a good job from Kanapke getting the ball. They have they cannot give Kanapke the ball. And that's just a, disrupted their offense. Mercer and there's a steal by Hess. Hess with Crow in pursuit, able to get the layup. Tate Hess. Yeah, that breaks the string. First basket other than Kanapke. First fast break basket we've had for the Flyers. Mercer working against Pullman. There's Crow. Has doing a nice defensive job. Trying to drive again, not able to. Mercer underneath there to Seaman. Kicks it in the corner. Dixon will call the corner three. Wow. Timeout will be by Shawnee. This timeout as all of them sponsored by Precision Strip. As we'd like to let you know, NK Toko Sports and the sponsors are pleased to bring you replays. Tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Telco Channel 3 or HD on Channel 503. Our replay times are tomorrow, Monday, January 16th at 2 p.m., Sunday, February 5th at 1 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com slash sports. 4.10 to go here in the second quarter. Coming out of this precision strip tying out, Shawnee leads by eight. Yes, and the reason for it is, is defense, defense, defense. Shawnee is really clamped down defensively and really limited uh, the shots for Mary Local. Flyers have trailed the whole game so far. It's pulling now to Hess. Nice entry nice. pass to Kanapke. Yeah, that's a nice little run play there that I think Coach Miller drew up coming out of the timeout and nice job by executing it. Drive to the basket, blocked by Hess. Able to get their own rebound. Bingo. Three ball wow. hit there by Ricky Powell. Wow. So they had a good defensive play yeah. there. And but, but it's the it was the offensive rebound off the yep. block shot. Knee camp will let the three go. That is short. Rebound there by the Braves. Simon gives it up, picks up his dribble. There's Crow. He's only scored two so far. He averages 22. That leads the Central Buckeye Conference, which is mostly a lot of Division II teams. So. Uh, he's he's involving everybody in the, in the game so far. Able to get it this time, and he just got it to fall through the basket. So Shawnee now at 20. So they lead the Flyers 20 to nine. Nice. nice off the glass there by Tate Hess. That's what they need right now. They need to string together a run here. Two and a half minutes ago before halftime. 2011 on our first National Bank scoreboard, and that goes out of bounds. Kind of an unforced yeah. turnover there. Yeah. See if the Flyers can take advantage of this. Only loss for the season to the Flyers were to St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. That was, I think, in the third game of the season. They've won yeah. seven in a row since then. And yeah. We're kind of involved in that streak, too. I know. <laughs> yeah, they... They have knocked off a lot of good teams. They yeah. beat Van Wert on Saturday, last Saturday night, yeah. on a last second Kanap tip by Kanapke. Yeah, Kanapke hit that buzzer beater. Hess trying to drive. Has to pick up his dribble. Pullman thought about a three. We're to knee camp. Ramley open for the tray and hits it. Finally, finally, finally. 
They hit a three-pointer. Starting to get a little bit into the rhythm now. They find themselves within six. Crow trying to work off the screen. The oh, switch. Nice. Kanapke, Kanapke picks his pocket. Here we go. And he misses the dunk. I think he was watching Crow a little yeah, bit. He, watching his rear view mirror yeah, too much. I think he was too. I think everybody was wanting that one. Definitely anticipating that. The whole crowd had a hush about it. Yeah, we had a few in the St. Mary's game, so that makes up for it. Three ball missed. Kneekamp with the rebound. Coming up on a minute to go. Flyers within six. See if they can get closer here. They get it to Kneekamp there. 6'8", Southmore. There nice he'll do move. a nice move. Just a Southmore, already 6'8", a nice move. Gets the Flyers within four. They go into the corner to Houseworth, now to Dixon. Dixon likes to pull out Kanapke and also likes to drive. Crow as he looks up to the scoreboard. They ran it down for the last shot in the first yeah. quarter. And now they're going zone, a little bit of a zone here. 1-3-1. One, one. Go on the other side to Seaman. Watch the corners here. Down Watch. to 10 seconds. Watch that corner. Crow, double team right now. Tries to find an opening. Down to one seconds. They won't get a shot off. Nope. Good defense by the Flyers. Finishes this first half on our first National Bank scoreboard. Shawnee leads 20 to 16 over Marion. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the first half stats in the second half here on NK Toko Sports. First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen, and check us out on Facebook. Back. We're at halftime here in this fifth game of the Martin Luther Classic. Good game here at halftime on our first National Bank scoreboard. Springfield Shawnee 20, Marion Local Flyers 16 with our first half team numbers, A.J. Lisi. Yeah, you look at the first half, I mean, Marion Local did not shoot the ball very well. I mean, they went 7 to 12, 21 from the field, only 1 to 10 from three-point range. That's, that's huge. Yeah. Uh, rebounding was kind of even, not many turnovers, five to three, but I, th I think the shot selection right now and the, the pressure that Shawnee's putting on has really disrupted Marion Local, and that's why you have a 20 to 16 Shawnee lead at halftime. 
Yeah, some of the individual scorings. First for Shawnee, Ricky Powell with a pair of trays for six points. Zion Crow, their leading scorer at 22 a game, average, is hitting four. Darian Dixon with three. Same Mercer and Desmond Houseman and Cody Seaman all with two points apiece for the Flyers. Jack Kanapke with seven points. Tate Hess, four points in the second quarter. Mitch Randley with the tray. Austin Niekamp with two. And, you know, the Flyers were down, I think it was double digits there for a little bit. They kind of yeah. made, made a little bit of a run towards the end of that half. Yeah, I mean, they, what they did was they got it back inside to Kanapke. Kanapke started getting touches again, and that kind of put that in the, in the, into uh, – and that's exactly right, playing inside inside out on offense. Yeah, one of the keys that Coach Guttermiller had. Yeah, and that, that's the one thing. They stopped getting it into Kanapke, and that's why the shot selection was not very good for Marion Local that, second, that first half. The flyer ball to start our second half. Looks like it's the same starters that we had with the game. Luke Pullman, Tate Hess, Brandon Ike, Austin Niekamp, Jack Kanapke. Of course, our starting line is sponsored by Emerson Climate Technologies. Holman gives it up to Hess. Underneath to Kanapke, back to Hess. Corner three, too long. Nice rebound by Ike. Wow. Can't finish. Tipped out. Hess chases it down. Throws it over to Ike, and they'll reset the offense. Wow. Just a good, interesting sequence there. Pullman no. can't hit the tray. Tipped out of bounds, and that goes to the Braves. Boy, every rebound is a battle both ways. Yeah, it is. It is. And, you know, Mary Local had some opportunities there and just couldn't cash in. Shawnee 7-5 and five on the season, 3-2 and two in the Central Buckeye Conference in the Kenton Trail Division. Flyers are 9-1, and 3-0 oh in the MAC. It's been a physical battle so far. There's Dixon drives. Ricky Powell Crow with the corner three misses everything. Goes out of bounds to go to the Flyers. Yeah, good movement by Shawnee. I mean, got the ball to Crow. They had their shot, but just couldn't connect. See what the Flyers can do. They've won seven in a row since they lost to St. Mary's in their third game of the season. St. Mary's won earlier today. Lost, they beat Lexington. They tried to do it top down at Kanapke and missed on the connection. Yeah, they tried that high low action and had Kanapke sealed, but it just couldn't get him the ball. Shawnee's second opportunity here in the second half. Work around to Dixon. It's really their de facto post. Yeah. Only 6 2. Their seaman gives it into the corner back to Dixon. Well, that might not be a bad idea because you bring Kanapke out of the middle yep. and you can actually do something. There's Crow against Hess. Hess has done a nice job so far. Crow will kick it out. Three ball misses by Powell. Rebound by Hess. No points so far as Hess tried to hit Kanapke and missed on the pass. Just, uh, just sloppy turnovers right now by Marion Local. That's the second straight uh, possession. They've turned the ball over. Coach Kurt Guttermiller on the sidelines limping a bit. He was, from what I understand, in the New Bremen game on Friday, a player, he got kind of, somebody dove out to the bench and he got hit in the knee pretty hard, and he's limping pretty bad, but he's yeah. a game. Yeah. He's toughing it out. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I know about those knee injuries pretty well. <laughs> they go to Dixon. He will drive, and that's tipped away by the Flyers. Ink to the basket, oh. collision. What do they call? They'll call a block. Good aggressive move there by Brandon Ink, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, it was actually nice defensive play, and Hess just took it right to the hoop right there. Take a look at our replay there. As Brandon Ink hits the first one. His first point tonight, averaging three on the season. It's Ranley in the game. Ike a senior, his first year starting for the Flyers. Short, oh. Kanapke or Niekamp, Niekamp comes up with a rebound. Turn around and in. Good offensive stick back by Kanapke and the Flyers within one, or by Niekamp. 20 to 19, Shawnee's yet to score here in the half. 
Seaman has to give it up to Houseworth. Hausman roller rolls out. Granley with the rebound. Up ahead to Pullman. Pullman will drive and another blocking foul. Nice half melee move yeah, by Pullman. That was, uh, I, thing I like seeing right now from Mary Local is they're limiting now Shawnee's chances to one. A lot of offensive rebounds by Shawnee in that first half, and they haven't gotten any second chance. On the other end, they're getting more second chance because they're crashing the boards, and that's a that's a big part of their game. Bowman, a 75% foul shooter, doesn't get to the line a whole lot, misses the first one there. He had 15 points on Friday night against New Bremen. He only averages four on the season. It's the second one for his first point. We are tied at 20, 20 to 20 on our first National Bank scoreboard. Crow gives it up to Powell, drives the baseline and in. Quick move by Ricky Powell as he goes down hard. He's gonna have to limp off. Doesn't look serious. As he'll quickly be replaced by Logan Earls. As he'll be getting some attention. Looks like he ran into his own player. As it'll be flyer ball, they now trail by two. Couple just one sub as we have into the game number 30, Kyle Ungren. So hopefully Powell's okay as he gets some attention on the sidelines. Pullman picks up his dribble over to Ranley. They lob it to Kanapke. He rolls in. Stubborn basketball. They didn't want to go in there, but finally rolls in. Uh, just nice power move by Kanapke to put that in there. 22-22. Coming up on halfway through this third quarter. Crow gives it to Houseman. Zane Mercer working against Pullman. Picks up his dribble. Seaman gives it to Powell. Dixon's out of the game right now, but Crow now with the basketball. Still only with four for the Braves. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass underneath. And they find a cutting Crow for the basket. Yeah, that's just a nice give and go there. Nice cut. Shawnee has a two-point lead. 24-22. S gives it up to Ranley on the wing. Pullman, they go underneath to Kanapke. Against Crow. They feed it back to Kanapke. Nice block there by Crow, and he just comes up with the rebound. Dixon on the bench. Crow drew the assignment of Kanapke that possession. Braves with the two-point lead. Driving on Pullman, a hard pass to nobody. A little miscommunication yeah. there. Two people look at each other, oh, that was yours. No, that was yours. Austin, Austin knee camp back into the game. It doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. So Flyers did tie it at 20, but they have yet to have the lead today. With three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Glad you're joining us here on NK Telco Sports for another game here at the Martin Luther King Classic. Pass will give it up. A wide open Ranley, too strong. Long rebound to the Braves. Ranley fighting oh, nice for it. Hustle. Unfortunately, he fell out of bounds. You got to appreciate the hustle by the junior Ranley. Ike will come in, give Pullman a break. Darian Dixon back in for yeah. the Braves. So with 2.43 to go on our first National Bank scoreboard, Shawnee 24, the Marion Local Flyers 22. Division two against one of the top Division four teams in the Marion Local Flyers, and it's been a battle. Mercer trying to drive. There's Dixon, guarded by Ungren right now, as Kanapke now out of the ball game. Seaman trying to drive on knee camp. Pass all the way in the corner to Earls. Corner three, too long. Falls all the way to the floor. Flyers come up with it with Kyle Ungren. 
three ball too strong by Ranley. Braves the Man. other way. Underneath is Earls. Oh, nice back pass. to Dixon or Crow for the basket. Now nah, I tell you, Marion Locals having trouble hitting that three pointer tonight. Drive to the hoop by Hess, able to get his own rebound, loses a handle. Crow comes up with it. Throws. The Coach McGuire will call a timeout. Be a 30 second timeout. This gives us an opportunity to thank our sponsors. Keyhole Pizza, First National Bank, Precision Strip, Emerson Copeland Technologies, Carriage Works, Grand Lake Health, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric Automation, Minster Bank, Pratt Industries, New Knoxville Supply, Wagner's IGA, Wilson Health, Winner's Meats, and NK Toco. Some of our additional sponsors, Burke Petroleum, Chiltex LLC, Seich Brudeman Incorporated, Dickman Supply, Hometown Opportunity, Hillspin Automotive, Park National Bank, Securecom, and Santa Henry Bank. 140 to go, third quarter on the first National Bank scoreboard. Sean Ede leads by four. Yeah, it's not, I mean, both teams are having, they're struggling shooting from the, from the perimeter right now. It's been an inside game, but Shawnee's defense, once again, now you got Kanapke on the bench just taking advantage of the, of the situation inside. Yeah, the Flyers had it within 20. Seemed like they had the momentum in 22-22, and Shawnee has moved that four-point lead. Has been a Shawnee's had the lead the whole time, but not much of a lead. Crow will give it up to Dixon. See oh, nice underneath. Luck. Earls. Bingo. N1. Good entry pass to Earls, and he will go for the old-fashioned three-point play. Yeah, that's just a good look there as they move the ball. It was the ball movement that did it for them. Kanapke back into the game. Logan Earls. Lefty with a misses the free throw. They haven't had real great free throw shooting either way either. Both teams haven't shot the ball well. Pass, drives, and nice. in. Nice athletic move by Tate Hess. That's a big basket right there, that big. Because the momentum was starting to shift to Shawnee. See what Shawnee does here. They like to go for the last shot the first two quarters. Had a minute to go. Crow will try to drive. Hess try to drive it, draw a charge. Seaman with the three. That's off line. Hess with the board. Kicking it up to Neekamp. He hesitated and have to give it to Hess. Nice oh, pass. Nice look, and you're not going to stop Kanapi oh, there. No, that, that's a great unselfish play because he had a wide open shot right there and looked right at Kanapke and Kanapke got the ball and they put it in. And that was perfect timing. Hess, yeah. uh, Hess saw Kanapke flash open right there. Yep. And they complete the three point play. And the Flyers within one, 28-27. So now Shawnee, see if they will go for one again. Mercer to Crow, he will pull it out. That's what they did the first two quarters and see if they try it again. That's can kind of gamble a little bit if he doesn't think he's gonna yeah. shoot. Yeah. Mercer, Flyers playing tough defense. Making him work, we're under 10. A lot of ball pressure. Crow kicks it into the corner. Seaman with a three. Wow. Cody Seaman drains the corner three. We go to the fourth quarter on our first National Bank scoreboard. Shawnee 31, Marion Local 27. We're back with the fourth quarter on NK Telco Sports. Carriage Works has expanded and now can. Carriage Works has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today.
good game here at the Martin Luther Classic. Shawnee leads Marion Local by four as we go to the fourth quarter. Yeah, and it's it comes down to who who's going to shoot the ball better here in this quarter. That was the first three in that quarter. That's each any team's hit in the third quarter. So we're going to see how it goes. Marion has switched to a zone. They played it briefly, like one possession, I think. It's yeah. a one-three-one. It looks like. Yeah. So trapping, they trap Crow, and they're able to come up with a steal. Ramley trapped, and he kicks it off a Shawnee player. So yeah, they got that trap in the corner. Is exactly what you want out of that, and gets the turnover. Hess trying to push the tempo, fade away at the elbow. That's too short. Kicks him with the rebound. I don't think that's a great shot for Marion Local there. I think Coach Godemiller saw the same thing. Mercer to the hole. Wow. Nice shot, Zane Mercer. Knocked down, hung in the wow. air a little bit, and finds a bob and net. Lead back to six for Shawnee. Ike over to Hess. Napke leads the Flyers with 12 points. Hess in the corner. All the way over to Ike. Nice take. Brandon too strong, but Kanapke cleans it up. Sticks it in. We, we could call that a pass, right? <laughs> when it goes on that side and Kanapke's there, yeah, you know he's yeah, gonna. Exactly. He had a great tip in to beat Van Wert last Saturday night, right at the buzzer. Yeah. Similar to that play. I think it was on it's on the left side of the basket, basket, I think I saw, yep. but very similar type thing as they knocked off a very good Van Wert team. Right now they're down to Shawnee by four. It's been a really entertaining, close game. Either team shooting real well, but defense has been great as Crow picks up his dribble. It's Coach Guttermiller yelling yeah. dead. Mercer, oh. corner three. Wow. Crow gets the offensive rebound. Nice block by Hess. Oh, wow. Tate Hess blocks a shot by Crow. Flyer ball down by four. Under six minutes to go. Knee camp. There's oh, Kanapke yeah. with the rebound. Oh, offensive. Charge. Dixon's yeah. right there. That's a good call. Just the second foul. I don't think there's anybody other than two fouls so far. Wow. Luke Pullman was in there, but yeah, Dixon was sitting right there. He tried to draw some charges earlier yeah. in the game, but that one, I don't think he tried to charge it. He was yeah. kind of in the, it was an elbow to the. It was a, it was a shoulder into the chest. Yeah. So Flyers in that zone again. Underneath, good yeah. steal there. Kanapke and Ranley were both there. Get it to Hess across the timeline. Passes uh, into the corner. He was fortunate that was tipped out yeah, of bounds. Because that wasn't a good pass. That wasn't going to anybody except the referee down there. Underneath the Kanapke to Pullman. Three ball. And there is a, they say it'll hit on top. So it'll stay with the Braves ball. We have a full timeout. We'll step aside. You're watching Martin Luther King Classic Basketball here on NK Toko Sports. We are here. And here. And here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. Proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a a better future. Welcome back here. We're in the fifth game of the Martin Luther Classic. I want to do a shout out to head coach Corey Britton of Fort Laramie and their athletic director, Mitch Westerheide. 
They've done a great job of running yeah. this tournament. Yeah, they've done a great job. I mean, with, with everything they've done with, to help us out, uh, the hospitality room and everything, just a great, great, great thing to do. Nice pass underneath to Dixon. That was altered by Kanapke. Yeah. Scrum for the rebound, That's and it'll be a timeout quickly there by Shawnee as they will do a full timeout. We're going to keep it right here. Again, NK Toko Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Toko Channel 3 and HD on Channel 503. Replay times are Monday, January 16th at 2 p.m. Also Sunday, February 5th at 1 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktoko.com slash sports. Our keys to the game sponsor tonight, Keyhole Pizza. Timeouts like this one always brought to you by Precision Strip all season long. Our starting items are sponsored by Emerson Copeland Technologies. AJ and I will pick a player of the game sponsored by NK Toco. Some of our additional sponsors, Burke Petroleum, Chill Tex LLC, Seish Rudin Incorporated, Dickman Supply, Hometown Opportunity, Hillsman Automotive, Park National Bank, Securecom, St. Henry Bank. With 5.04 to go in the ball game, Sean Ede leads by four. Yeah, leads by four because Mary Local's not shooting the ball very well. I mean, one for 16 from three-point range right now going in here, and it's just something's going to happen here. I just I, I, I feel it. Yeah, big possession here. Flyers need to keep them at four. Stay in that zone, and it's tipped yeah. away. Kanapke comes up with it, has tried to do the fast break, and he'll pull it back. Now to Ramley. Coach Gildemiller has a certain set he wants to run as he's yelling what he wants to his players. They get down to Kanapke. He's triple team to Hess. A runner off. Kanapke almost had it. It will, referee Joe Turner will signal it will be flyer ball. As Hess will inbound it. That was almost in by Hess and almost rebounded by Kanapke. All the way on top to Mitch Ranley. Feel like this is a key possession here. Yes, it is. Pullman. Hess. That's, tries to drive. Race. Played solid defense the whole yeah. time. Oh, wow. Ranley in some trouble. Underneath. To uh, knee camp and Austin knee camp bails him out with a big basket. That's a huge basket for Mary Local. Cuts up the two. Randley was in some trouble underneath and Flyers in this 1-3 win zone. That's really caused some trouble to Shawnee. Yeah, Shawnee's turned the ball over the last three possessions in this zone. Mercer to Seaman. Into the corner, it's Powell kicked out of bounds. Way out of bounds as it goes to the Minster cheerleaders that are getting ready for the next game. That'll be against Miami East. Uh, the field, go field goal would have been yeah. great there. Yeah. See Coach Chris McGuire, 18th year of the head coach of Shawnee's at around 250 wins. They're coming off a win over Jonathan Alder on Friday. That's a big victory right there. Yeah, that puts them in, they're in a first place tie right now with two other teams, Alder being one of them. Crow being very patient there. Right in the corner of three, Powell can't hit it. Knee camp with the rebound. Man. Chance for the Flyers to tie with a two or go ahead with a three, which has been tough to get for the Flyers. Has setting up the offense. Drive to the hoop. Draws the foul using that quickness of Hess. Yeah, that's that was a great move to the basket. You know what? Kanapke was giving him the lane because he had his man sealed. So good play by Hess there. Hess, 6'2 senior, starter last year as a junior. He hits the first one. One more and could tie the game. Hess now with seven. Last year, Marion was co MAC champs, district champs last year. Right now they're in a battle trying to tie it here on the Hess free throw. And we are. 33-33 in our first national bank think first scoreboard. Shawnee now with the basketball. 
They have had trouble against this zone, especially when you have Kanapke in the middle of that zone. Really, Kanapke anywhere on the court is a trouble. Uh, it's kind of like Austin Park in the last game. They put him on top of the field, yep. too. Yep. Really disrupted things. Over to Seaman. There's Powell there to Dixon. A good entry pass. Nice pass underneath to Crow, and he finishes. Nice find there, and Crow just uses his ability and finishes it. Shawnee now with a two-point lead. Knee camp, spin move, oh, nice, nice fake, move. and Kanapke <laughs> tried to tip. Oh. Rebound goes to Shawnee. It'll be a foul. That's only the third foul on the Flyers. Wow. Yeah, it was a good look by Knee camp, yeah. and then it looked like Kanapke was going to tip it in, and he couldn't get it to fall, and that's... Yeah. Really been the story for the Flyers today. And that's, you know, just opportunity after opportunity Marion Locals had to either take the lead or tie this game. Into the corner, it's Crow. Crow with 10 points on the game. Big basket to put Shawnee ahead for down from his 22, but he's a big part of this offense in a very low scoring game. Both these teams averaging right at 51, and there's a pass goes out of bounds. Oh, wow. Say airmail that. I think they were looking for Crow or Dixon underneath. And I think it was Dixon they were looking, but Crow was right there too, but I think the, the, they were looking at Dixon there. 35-33 Shawnee, and there's a chance for the Flyers to tie it. Has to go on the left side to set it up. Coach Guttermiller will call a timeout, full timeout. We'll step aside. You're watching high school basketball on NK Toko Sports. Ohio means jobs. All Glaze County has a job for you. Grand Lake Health System has over 800 employees. Included is Joint Township District Memorial Hospital and multiple physician practices. And we're now hiring a variety of positions that fit all education and skill levels. Plus, you'll get a great benefit package offered to both full and part-time workers. Join this rewarding career and help your community in the process. Contact Ohio Means Jobs Auglaize County for all your employment needs. 141 to go here in this fifth game of the MLK Classic here at Fort Larmy. And we've had a physical battle here in this game. Right now, the Division II Shawnee Braves leading the Flyers by two. Yeah, by two. And, you know, it, it's every opportunity that Mary Lycos got going to have because they're getting the turnovers on this end. They got to capitalize on this end. And the 1 3 1 zone has really disrupted Shawnee right now. So here we go. And minute, minute 41 to go. Coming out of this precision strip timeout called by Marion Local. And Coach Guttermill was work, really working his clipboard there. Yeah. He was really hitting the. Yeah. Hope he had a good marker there. He can draw him up with the best yeah. of them. I'll tell you, us coaches, we, we have a unlimited supply of expo markers. Oh, and there's a nice steal there by Houseman and stolen back by the Flyers to the hoop. Oh. Can't get it to fall there by Randland. It'll be a foul on the rebound. So wow. missed opportunity there by the Flyers. As Randland stole it, couldn't get it to fall on the layup as Ike will take his place and full court pressure now by the Flyers. Pass into Seaman. 126 to go. Pushing it up. Head all the way to Crow. And he's going to handle it a lot down the stretch. Leading score with 10 points for the Braves. Yeah, they're going to need the ball here. Only four fouls on the Flyers. Yeah. So if they want to put them on the foul line, they're going to need to do that. Start fouling as we go under a minute. And right now, they're one for four from the free throw line. So might be a big uh, opportunity here. Marion has had to switch to the man-to-man, -man, and there's a first foul there by Eink, as Coach Guttermill, I think, was encouraging a foul. And uh, that's a lot of time taken off the clock, too. Where Had another timeout by Coach Guttermiller. This one sponsored, as always, 
by Precision Strip. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Keyhole Pizza, First National Bank, Precision Strip, Emerson Copeland Technologies, Carriage Works, Grand Lake Health, Cokie Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric Automation, Minster Bank, Pratt Industries, Unoxa Supply, Wagner's IGA, Wilson Health, Winners Meats, and NK Toco, our fine sponsors that make it possible to show you high school games like all the games we've had here at the MLK Classic. It hasn't been the prettiest game, but this has been a very competitive, yeah. tough game today no, in this it's, one. It's, it's the type of game Marion locals used to. Yep. I'm not sure about Sean, Shawnee here, but these are the type of games, I mean, same thing in the last game, Lexington St. Mary's is yeah. kind of like this too. So No matter how this may, ends up, it'll make both teams better. Exactly. This is tournament basketball, close, tough game. Right now, they're gonna just keep play keep away. Shawnee with two point lead. Mercer almost lost it, almost traveled. There to Dixon. Yeah, they're, they're, trying to <laughs> they're trying to get a foul yeah. and they finally get one, but they ran about 20 seconds yeah. off. Uh, That's Luke Pullman. That'll be the sixth foul, so the next one would be the one and one. So imagine that's the strategy here. Still 34 seconds. A lot of ball game left. Crow oh, underneath the Mercer. Turnover. turnover. Pullman almost loses it out of bounds. Oh. Just barely. As he was keeping it in bounds, the bench wow. called a timeout. That had to be inches yeah. there. Jeez, that's crazy. So they didn't have to foul. They end up with the turnover instead. So yeah. now it's an opportunity, 30-second timeout. But you got to figure they're going to want Kanapke to touch you, you somewhere that, here. That's where you got to go. You got to, where you've been successful is get that ball to Kanapke, whether it's inside, out, whatever. But Kanapke is the key here to tie this ball game up. 30.2 seconds. Marion has trailed the entire game. They tied it up a couple times to 20 and 22. I imagine Hess, Hess will have the ball. He might drive right. Dish, but right. when they, one in doubt, go to the 6'9 junior. <laughs> as so, strong so nice, as an ox. It's a nice weapon to have. So they will inbound it here. Wish we had a 6'9 weapon. <laughs> All the high school coaches All are saying right, the I same just, thing, unless yeah. you're Coach Dan Hegmeyer has a 6'10 <laughs> weapon in Austin Park. So here we go. Flyers with the ball. Hess. High screen by Kanapke. Give it to Neekamp. Pullman thought about a three. Oh, uh, look at Dixon. Dixon's really working hard. It's a battle underneath. They're down is. to 15 seconds. Flyers have two timeouts if they want it. Ooh. Tough pass. Kanapke able to get it back to Hess. We're down to eight seconds. Yeah. Coach Gutterman will take his last or his second last timeout. Good defense yeah, there by Good Pajani. defense. I, and I'll tell you what, Dixon did a great job. He did not allow Kanapke to get any positioning. And the dig down, like with the guards and everything, they did a great job. So Shawnee's got a great idea here. Fly, Flyers were very lucky to get that. That was a tough bounce yeah. pass to Kanapke, and he was able to keep it alive to Hess. Right. They're fortunate to have this second chance right. here. Right. And, you know, don't be surprised if they work a high low now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, bring knee camp up to the top of the key, and you're looking to, for that seal down low. So kind of watch out for that. And if it's not there, I wouldn't be surprised if knee camp being 6 8 has right. the height advantage. Not two teams can have 6 9, no. 6 8, especially at the Division Four exactly. level. Exactly. And that's that's why they're so good because you got those matchups because of their height, and it just makes it tough to guard them. Right now, Dixon, both teams are drawn up. Dixon has been pretty well been matched up on Kanapke the whole night. He's done a nice job. Yeah. Coach McGuire drawn up the defense with 8.2 seconds. You know, and if you're Marion, you don't want to shoot at the buzzer. You want to shoot with like yeah, four or five exactly. seconds of Kanapke right. or knee camp or somebody might get the rebound. Exactly. So imagine the first good look. The ball's going to go up for Flyers. So Rainley will trigger it in to Pullman. Will go to Hess. To Pullman, he will step oh, on the sideline, and that wow. will turn it over. Wow, that's wow. They were going for a three and then get the rebound. In 4.2 seconds to go, Chris McGuire will call a precision strip timeout. Coach Gettemeller just put in uh, one of the younger players, I think, to foul in this yeah. case here. And they're looking to get. Pretty much go five quick guards in there to try to get a steal or the foul. 
because they're going to go all out here. I mean, you might as well. And if you're Shawnee, you got to figure they're going to try to go to Crow to handle the ball, and why not? The way right. he hasn't scored a whole lot, he's only scored 10, but the kid can handle the ball, that's yeah, for sure. It's a quiet 10. I mean, yeah. he really, he really, I mean, as good as he is, I mean, I think Marion Local's done a good job on him. Quickly, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Keyhole Pizza, our timeout sponsors, Sponsored by Precision Strip. Started on ice by Emerson Climate Technologies. Kegel Pizza, our keys to the game part sponsor. We will pick a player of the game. Sponsored by NK Telco. On our first National Bank scoreboard with 4.2 seconds to go. Shawnee leads by two and has the basketball. Yeah, I just noticed Coach McGuire, he's, got, he's in a boot. <laughs> both <laughs> both so these coaches, coaches playing. Coaches are hurt. Both hurt. <laughs> It's like a Rocky Rocky movie at <laughs> 15th round here. They're going all out, Apollo and Rocky. Here we go. Seaman will inbound it. Able to get it to Dixon. The quick foul with 3.3 seconds to go. And Derry Dixon will go to the line. We'll check up our stats. And we would like to shout out to both of the coaches. Very cooperative. Passing on their statistics and their keys and thoughts for the game. And it'll be Darian Dixon, a 71% foul shooter. They shoot 70% as a team. Wow. That's pretty That's good. good. So I'd say that is good. One, one free throw is big. Dixon. Two free throws are pretty well yeah, clinch it. Exactly. So we'll see what Dixon has done. He's done a great job on the defensive side as they put Kanapke and Neekamp in. And yeah. if you're the Flyers, they do have one timeout. They got one timeout left, yes. So they might call a quick timeout if they get their rebound. So it's a one and one here. First one of the game. And there's a quick timeout. Wow. Coach Gettemiller was right on it yes, with a timeout. So wow. 2.8 seconds. So now it's the strategy of inbounding it. And I always think when you're when you got to go the length of the court as you do you know, with 2.8, the big thing is you got to get the pass down the court. Exactly. If you can get the to like half court or somewhere mm. close to half court to a guard. Then you have options. Right, exactly. And I think the way, what you're going to see is they'll set something up at half court where it's kind of a spin around where they flare now and you just throw that pass out there and you, you got a shot for down here. I mean, so. if you can get it, anything past half court is really a bonus at this point. Right. You know, if you can get somewhere close to, if you can get a long pass all the way, you could. The other thing they have where you have a 6 9 yeah. Kanapke or knee camp, you can throw it up. Well, Christian Leitner. I mean, yeah, there you go. Sitting right there. Sets the back screen. He comes up. He catches it. Hits a turnaround at the at the free throw. Line. The key was Grand Hill had the great throw all the way yeah. down. That's the the that, inbound. I'm exactly. curious. I, well, curious if they'll put like knee camp. Is it, will be a tall guy. He'd be able to throw it. Yeah. Or it'll be one of the guards. And it looks well. like it'll be one of the guards. It looks like it'll be Ein to throw it. Uh, you have knee camp and Kanapke all the way down. Yep. Pullman in the backcourt, Hess in the front court, and I cannot move. This is a spot here, and he will throw it all the way down. Oh. It battles around. Nick will oh, put up can. a shot, and it'll go off the mark. That's gonna do. And there is a little confusion there. There was no call on the play, oh, and that will end it. Final right. score. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul. Okay, no, no. So the yeah. final score is Shawnee 35, Marion Local 33 in our first National Bank scoreboard. We'll take a quick break. Be back to wrap it up on NK Telco Sports. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. 
Unpack your potential with a career at Pratt Industries. Working at Pratt Industries is more than a job. It's a sustainable career. Pratt Industries to me is a job. It's, it's my career. It's the way I put food on my table, but I love what I do. We offer competitive pay, excellent benefits, and opportunities for career advancement. To apply, visit careers.prattindustries.com. Households are using more connected devices than ever before. TVs are streaming, smartphones are browsing, security cameras are watching, and virtual assistants are, well, assisting. You'll need an umbrella today. As you add more devices, we are constantly improving our technology to deliver the fastest and most reliable internet to your home. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get NK Telco high speed internet with speeds up to 1 gig. Call 1 888 NK Telco today. It's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Welcome back. We just completed the Shawnee and Marion Local game. Shawnee wins a tough one by two over Marion Local. With the final numbers, Mr. A.J. Lisi. Yeah, we, we, you look at the numbers right here, and it's shooting. I mean, Marion Local shot 13 of 43 from the field, one of 17 from three-point range. I mean, that's that's a difficult to win a game like that. Uh, rebounding was great. Uh, Shawnee, 15 of 32 from the field, 4 of 14 from three-point three range. But the turnovers, the 1-3-1 one, one was the killer for them. But it's the shooting that really took uh, Marion Local out. As Marion will go to 9-2 and two overall, they will play on Fort Recovery on Friday. Springfield Shawnee goes to 8-5. and five. Shawnee was led by Zion Crow with 10, Ricky Powell with 8. And the Flyers were led by the big guy in the middle will be our player of the game, Jack Kanapke. Yeah, Jack Kanapke. I mean, he was he was the guy that Marion Local needed on the offensive end. He did a good job. When they were successful, he had 14 points. But the touches were a big thing, and that's what kept uh, Marion Local in the game. Well, that'll wrap it up from here. For on camera today, Mark Fissel, Kirk Kuffner, and Jim Miller. Assistant Director Jeff Henson, Director Scott Robinson, with my partner AJ Lisi, I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching on NK Toko Sports.